everyone, if you even watch my videos anymore, because that's been quite a while. But, this is my new fish tank. Well, not new, it's been up for about two months now. And let's start off with, I actually got hair grass to grow because of that light that you cannot see. But, that's what this video is about. Let's, if I'm going to start some new videos, let's start off with some awesome new lighting. Now, this was suggested by uh, one of my friends, Ken. He uh, said he's used these, and they have done great. And I've seen his fish tanks. If I can get a picture of it in this video, which I don't know how to video edit, so probably not. But his fish tanks are amazing looking. So, props to him. And for the information on how to find this thing for as cheap as I did. So I, I found this light for $150, which $150 for a light, yes, for some people that's a lot of money, but if you're into the hobby, it is technically a luxury hobby, so you are going to spend a decent amount of money from time to time. But if you want to buy something good, you want it to last, and you want it to do good, then buy something that's actually going to get what you want, or get the results that you want. So, let's start off with, one, don't put peroxide on Anubis. So, I don't know if that works for everyone, but all these other plants did good. No, Jungle Val didn't do too great. That's actually completely melted away. But, Anubis, oh man, it's just beat the tar out of it. Yeah, but, come on Angel, stop being stingy with the video time. But yeah, it's, don't do that. But it is purling. I don't know if you can see that. Even though it's getting its butt beat, it's purling like crazy all over it. And that's one thing. This thing, these plants just purl like crazy. Uh, it is a 6700K light from what I was catching. Um, I don't know if you can tell. All those little bubbles. It's, it is purling like crazy everywhere. It's really hard to see on this video though. But take my word for it. Right, that, that'd be a good one. There you go. Purling everywhere over there. But yeah. Um, oh, if anybody doesn't know, that is a female red dwarf gourami. That is what they look like. Not very much color, but I got them. It definitely keeps the hostility between the two males in there down quite a bit. And that's Marbles, my angel. Which he has to go, because he murdered all my cherry shrimp. And I love cherry shrimp. <laughs> But, let's get on to the light. So, it's a it's made by Green Element. It is a 6700K, 48 inch, uh, 3 watt LED, per LED light. Uh, it's technically, from what I'm looking at, it's basically two lights in one. Let's see if we can get a... Let's go turn it down a little bit. Now we can't see anything. Anyways, there's two sections, so that's 25% of the lights on, 50%, give you an idea, that's 50% of the lights on. If I get an algae bloom, that's generally what I leave it on, but the lights don't stay on very all, uh, very much anymore, kind of kick it down a notch. It does not have a moonlight setting, so if you want that, this is not the light for you, or buy a substitute, because this light does not have a moonlight setting, which, if you want your plants to grow... Not a big deal. This is sitting next to my bed because I'm a spoiled brat and I wanted a fish tank next to my bed. So, um, uh, and this is 75% of the lighting. Looking good. And this will be all the lighting. So, that is a stinking bright light. This video does not serve it justice, but that is a very, very bright light. You can blind small children across the street. They're being annoying. You know, I don't suggest that, but hey, to each their own. Whatever you want to do. Um, great light. Uh, if you don't have a lot of plants in there, I mean, you can get this light in pretty much every size. You're going to get a lot of algae at first. But, I mean, this Sagittarius, oh my goodness, it's just blowing up. It's just everywhere in the tank. It's growing under the wood. It's awesome. Uh, got dwarf hair grass growing everywhere. I only had this big strand. I keep breaking it up and moving it around. But uh, it's growing some runners. I don't know if you can get the focus on that. 
Bam, there we go. It's actually growing inside that plant right there. I have no idea what half these plants are. I was pretty much given most of these uh, this time around. But yeah, it's an amazing light. Oddly, can't get uh, Java ferns to grow too well in it. But, you know, whatever. And get, I mean, look at this plant. That's gorgeous green. Getting the bright reds. I mean, look at that plant up there, bright red. Everything's growing really well in here. Uh, let's take a look at the light. Let's see if we can get that. So uh, it is very warm to the touch, but still not that bad. I mean, I can hold it. I mean, it's not Arizona weather hot, but it's still pretty darn hot. Um, I mean, you could put a pretty considerable. I'm not gonna pu uh, like push on it really hard, but. I'm putting a pretty considerable amount of weight on there, and it's it's not bowing whatsoever. This is a good light. Suggest it. You want to grow some plants in a uh, any kind of setting? This is great. I don't know the par rating or anything like that. That's my beta. Look at him. He's gorgeous. Uh, but let's get on to the honorable mentions. Now, you're going to have to give me a moment, but I'll plug this bad boy in, and I'll show you how this thing works. All right, let's pull it off to the side. I'll pull, oh, I lost the little hinge. Whoopsies. This is it. Same size, 48 inches. Uh, this is $40. The other light up there retails for, I want to say, $180. Um, so I got it on eBay through Top Dog Seller for $150. So maybe you can talk to him, get a better deal. Um, I'll leave a link below. Um, this, I'll leave it. Also leave a link below. This is from Amazon, and let me go ahead and plug that in and show you guys how that looks. I'm gonna set the phone down for a second. Okie dokie dokie dokie. Alright. So, this is the light. It is $40. It will grow low light plants like Java moss. You know, it will grow plants. Don't get me wrong. Great light has multi colors, has green, blue, red, and white. The white they say is 10K, which isn't too great for lights, but, or plants, but it is a good light. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the other light, kind of show you how this looks on the tank. It actually, if you just want a plain light, you don't really want to grow plants, this light is actually really nice, unless you unplug it. I'll go ahead and get that plug back in, try not to kill any of my fish. So that's what that light looks like. My opinion, for the price you're paying, that's a pretty darn good light. And this one is the Beamswork 32 inch or 48 inch full spectrum planted light. Now, I bought it because I thought it would buy plant or grow plants better. I was mistaken, but all around very good looking light. It does have a moonlight setting, but that's the only other setting it has, and you can hook up an additional timer to it as well actually both of these you can hook up uh, separate timers to so this one has two this one has one um, so that's that so that's going to conclude my video for today but that's my review these are the way these lights look they look great and uh, if you guys have any questions just let me know all right guys have a good one